This is a Santa Claus rally season, but this feels anything but at this point, even with markets off of their lows. Is the Santa Claus rally still intact? Is there a case to still be made that stocks should be in a bull market? Yes, we think so. Uh, we think actually that the correction that we saw in October was a very normal correction, followed all the normal scripts uh, that I've seen in my three or four decades in the business. But I would say also, too, that we are so binary now with our opinions. It's on or off. It's bullish or bearish. Everybody and their mother, brother, sister, cousin, uncle thinks the tariff tantrum is going to continue. We published our piece in terms of 2019 outlook two weeks ago. Our meetings across the, uh, the North America are predominantly bearish, bearish, bearish. Everyone is, is now ratcheting up their recession talk for later in 19 into 20. We think it's way too early. And we still think that the stock market is a market of stocks. And there are great companies here in America that can be bought that will outperform the market. So that's how we're going to be positioning into the Santa Claus rally, which we believe will happen. Let's just follow up with that really quick. What, what parts of the market then, Brian, are representative value plays in this current environment? Well, you have a stock like Apple getting crushed. You know, I, I think at the end of the day, you want to own Apple for the next three to five years of the balance sheet and the cash flow. I mean, that's, a, that's creating a value opportunity. If we think financials are value, we think parts, other parts of technology, even healthcare are value. So you have to think of it that way. Brad, we know, and viewers at CNBC know, Brian's take. He's been bullish for quite some time, unabashedly. <clears throat> Do you feel the same way? Should we feel as confident about the market the way it sets up right now? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, long term, we are constructive on the market. I mean, it's obviously hard to know what's going to happen uh, with the G20 meeting uh, this week. But, you know, it's much easier to uh, look at the market from a longer term perspective. So, for instance, tariffs, uh, there's a very powerful trend in place, uh, a downtrend over, over a period of many decades. For instance, uh, October 1985, the cover of Time magazine said trade wars, you know, and Uncle Sam had his hand out as if to say, you know, stop global trade. And what's happened since then? Uh, tariffs have halved since then. And so I think, um, you know, we're constructive on, on ultimately there being a deal. Who knows what will happen in the next several months? Meanwhile, our strategy at Alger is, uh, you know, to invest in more uh, acyclical companies that benefit more from innovation where we're less dependent on uh, the, the varying degrees like what? of the economy. Well, um, for healthcare, for instance, as a sector, uh, so software that sells into, the se into that sector, um, where the cash flows are less cyclical, uh, healthcare service providers uh, like insurance companies, uh, device manufacturers who, who do diagnostics, those kinds of things. My yeah. notes indicate that, that you say that the market is not focused enough on the potential for a good outcome on trade. What I just heard out of the White House does not sound like a good outcome is coming anytime soon. Well, I'll just say that, the, you know, the market seems awfully pessimistic to me. For instance, there was uh, a very recent... Uh, poll of individual investors, and there's more bearish individual investors right now than bullish. And in fact, from this particular setup um, and, and this statistic on, on bullish investors being it's more a than sign, a standard right? deviation, more than a standard deviation below normal, that actually indicates positive returns, uh, double-digit returns, typically 12 months uh, from that time period, and is correct contrarian indicator 88% of the time.